guys what is up so I finally figured out like the whole lighting situation and you know the whole like actually filming part but now my background's like pretty bad right now so baby steps we'll get there we'll get there <laughs> okay so it has been a minute and I mean college is just hard guys like it's harder than I thought it would be so that's not an excuse but it was kind of just like either my camera was here and I was at home or I was at home, I was he home and my camera was here. That took way too long to figure out. Or I just like, like the video I'm filming now, I wanted to film it when I first got here, but I didn't like have enough experience for it, I guess. Like, I didn't know anything. So, oh, I found it. Okay, basically, I wrote down a list of five things. <laughs> that I wish I would have learned in high school it's just things that like no teacher can really teach you or administrator it's more of like you have to figure this out on your own so I'm here to help you out from one lost soul to another so yeah before this intro turns into any more of a train wreck I'm sorry I'm just gonna get right into it there's a pink balloon back there just ignore it that's bothering me but just Okay, so first, get a job in your field of interest. I cannot emphasize this more. So I'm an equine science major, and you guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but I mean, I put it in one of the day in my life videos. I'm super into horses. Um, I really don't know how else to put it. I'm like obsessed with them. I want to go into like the thoroughbred industry, but I never actually had a job in equine industry. I just volunteered. And I would do work, working students, so like I got lessons in exchange for working and stuff like that. So I never actually had a job I could put in my resume, which I didn't think was a big deal. But the second, especially in my career field, and I'm pretty sure it's like this in every single career field, um, the second you get into college, you need money, which means you need a job. And you're not going to want to get a job. I mean, some people do, but if you're like me, you don't want to get a job. It's going to build your resume for a completely different major. Like, you're going to want to start building your resume so you can get a good job in the major you have. So, I would just say get a job in your field of interest while you're in high school. Because, I kid you not, it's been such a struggle. I don't even have a job yet. Thankfully, I have, like, savings and, you know, like, scholarships and stuff. But, like, I need to get a job soon. And I, it's been, what, like two months that I've been looking and I just like I mean I have volunteer experience but I can't like show it like with an employer and stuff so yeah just get a job in your field of interest I promise you this is like if this is the only thing you can get out of it like do this even if you have multiple majors because I have multiple majors get one for at least one like please second is use a planner and this is basically just like time management in general I have two planners so I have one that's like just for school that I keep like on my desk and like it, I fill in exams I went in at the beginning of the semester which is a big tip and I filled in all of my exams all of my big homework due dates that they give you because most of the time they put all of it in the syllabus in college and the days that I knew yeah just basically the days I knew that I would have a lot of homework and then I have another planner that I carry from class to class with me and I'm a little extra so that if they give extra homework, I put it on there and then I transfer it to my other one. And this is just like my everyday life planner. So like I write what I'm doing on the weekends, what I'm doing after class, what I'm doing in my sorority, what I'm doing volunteer wise, anything like that. Um, just time management is the key to everything. I promise you, if you did not learn time management up until this point, learn it now because it's it's a big part of like college like it's basically college in two words third take school seriously I've had some professors that are not like the most understanding but that's what college is like they say something once they expect you to understand it and know that they mean it and follow through with it so you should be taking college I mean you should take high school seriously too but I feel like there's whole, this whole aura around like high school that you're not supposed to care about your schoolwork. Like you're just supposed to magically be good at it or just not care and fail. But in college, like 
you're paying to be here and kind of everyone understands that so you're supposed to take it seriously like you need to be paying attention 100% of the time and that's the hardest thing for me is on my off days I could just like kind of get through the day in high school but you can't do that in college you have to take your professors seriously and you should probably start practicing that in high school too so if you're still in high school definitely do that because like yeah they're scary they can be scary or they can be your best friend you never know another thing is take on responsibilities for college don't wait there are so many people i know who got here and they never like their parents had always done everything for them but i mean i see my mom on the weekends and that's it like i'm 100 percent. i have all this freedom i'm super independent like I, I mean, if I don't want to do my homework, I don't have to, but it's going to reflect my grades and it's going to reflect, like, even, like, my, what's the word I'm looking for? Not my personality, but you, you know what I mean, like, me, um, my reputation, sort of, like, among the professors, because they talk, they do talk, don't let them think, make you think they don't, they talk about you, so just start taking responsibilities in high school i'm so blessed that my mom gave me responsibilities and it wasn't even like here do this like so on it was like she expected me to do it so just start taking little responsibilities whether it's taking out the trash cleaning your room if you can drive like picking up your sibling from a sports thing just like without them asking because when you're in college it's all gonna be you and you're gonna have to balance everything out and to manage your time perfectly and just be responsible and 100 percent on top of things so yeah okay last is stress is okay like i feel like this is another myth in high school like stress is a bad thing like you can't be stressed you just you can't it's a bad thing which i mean stress sucks it's not a good thing like nobody wants to be stressed but that's a part of like life like you're gonna be stressed so i just like i promise you between me and like the friends i made we have like each of us have like two to three mental breakdowns a week just getting into the college like lifestyle because it's so different i mean you move you're especially if you live on campus like you're in you're it's like you have two lives like i'm basically hannah montana guys but um so basically you're gonna be stressed don't let that keep you from doing things like still get involved because the more you're not involved the more you're going to sit in your room and think about how stressed you are so i promise you if you get involved it's going to be okay you're going to get all of it done you're going to get your homework done you're going to have more friends you're going to be less stressed but don't get too involved if you're like me i want to join every single club i see because i relate to everything like in some way like i see the art club and i'm like oh i drew this really good painting of zane like sophomore year like that's for me it's not for me so just pace yourself but definitely get involved and fill your days up so that you're not sitting around thinking about how stressed you are so yeah like don't freak out if you're stressed everyone's stressed I promise you, I could go knock on the door of anyone in this dorm, ask them if they're stressed, and they would say yes. Like, that is a 100% bet. So yeah, I hope this wasn't, like, super long. I'm gonna try and edit it so that it's, like, really compact and just, like, easy to follow. I really don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, I'm sorry it's been a while. I'm trying to, like, fix this whole, like, area. Like, shout out to Mason, but, like, my room's just, like, super... All the cute stuff is right there where the window is but i need the lighting so i'm gonna try and like fix this um you got a mirror but really yeah and i feel like i don't know um <laughs> thank you so much for watching sorry it's been a while like i said i'm stressed and i'm adjusting and i'm trying to find a job but that's life so i'm gonna go do my homework and then i have some sorority stuff to do so i'll catch you guys later um, let me know if you want me to do any videos or something like ideas that you have in mind in the comments or if you just want me to do like a day in my life or whatever and I will let you guys know I'll do them I'll try and do them so yeah um yeah I'm gonna go study um have a good day have a good week I love you so much um like comment subscribe all that stuff you're supposed to say uh, <laughs> bye guys